Hello and welcome to a dark and grim let's play of Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction. Yeah, this idea came to me several weeks ago when Blizzard revealed they will go and do the Necromancer for Diablo 3 during 2017. And I'm really, 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 really hyped for this class. So much hype for this class. Uh, I can't really put it into words. During my time as a Diablo 2 player, I always played as a necromancer. It was hard for me to get to play another class. I tried the mage and I also tried the druid as a second pet class in the game, but well, it never got me around. I'm still Necromancer guy, and so I was a little bit upset that they never did the Necromancer for Diablo 3. But as you remember, if you read it, <coughs> they promised to us that one day we will find all Diablo, Diablo 2 classes in Diablo 3. Maybe like in a different version, like the um, Crusader. Um, but we could also find them in a mere direct transmission, like the Barbarian or the Mage. So yeah, maybe one day we will have an, a second bow class, like the Amazon. And yeah, so without further ado, I would like to start game <laughs> of Diablo 2 and I think I don't start a, a single player start a game in Battle.net because if I remember in Battle.net we got the possibility um, first to um, set the player, the number of players. Well, who can determine my passport? So, <clears throat> and I think um, the map will change every time. So, let's choose the And because I told you, I will not just run around. Let's try a leather character. I never did this. I don't really know what to do. I think just leveling and getting better items will fit for me. And I will name him. I can't do. And I can't do this. Okay, so name it harder. Chat, but they upgraded <laughs> a self uh, a self promo <laughs> on, the, on the top. It's really warm. okay. So at the moment, I don't want anyone to be here. So I name the game just. Good day! Oh, Warif. Oh, I missed you, guy. Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. 
Well, some say the Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a Dark Wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the Rogue Monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the Wanderer went through, the Monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Loot Gulane before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive, then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara, too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Uh, anybody in for some Diablo trivia? Um, this fine lady with her purple hair, or maybe the purple cape, yes, of course, <clears throat> was the witch from Diablo, one Hello. to find um, on the other side of the river, wide away from the rest, but not that wide away, so I think she was some kind of medicine girl or physician for this whole village of Tristra. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, traveler, to our camp, but I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sister... You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it, but she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, Find the Dark Labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the Great Eye watch over you. Ah, sneaky witch. So, let's turn on the map. Ah man, what the... Another map mode? I don't know for sure. But yeah, I think you can't even see anything. I mean... There are some pixels that should have BSI and you can see a general clothing on him, but yeah. let's get into the quest log. So we got this so sweet, just six quests, <laughs> but um, yeah, for well, this time I think Diablo Diablo 1 had just one quest oh no I, I, I don't no no there were there were several quests but I think it went more than four or six for the whole game there wasn't too much quests I think the quests were more to kill all the all who oppose me beware that's one of the rare moments when my character starts to speak. And I am for sure a necromancer. So, let's just raise my first. Yes. Oh, oh. Sound that 
always reminds me like, oh no no no, there's a trap, there's a trap. And sometimes when I go in old houses and I hear this barking. <laughs> Kinda like, ah oh yeah, now it just starts burning or shooting arrows. So, when I was younger, I wasn't, wasn't sure if I could miss some of the grey items. Oh man. So I would pick them every item. That's the first thing, and I will this. And the second, oh wow, was that I, uh, the boots, first, <coughs> and sooner, when I played Diablo 2 for several months, I recognized that there were some uh, things called set items, I found like two of them, of them in Diablo 1. And I never really got to the point. I mean, it was not really clever. These things are things that I don't know. All that but <coughs> it's just that I, that I have to collect. First of all, I, I saw that I have to collect ah, Put on. Magic damage they receive. Huh. I always ask myself, should I first go with this? Or... But I'm, I'm the man of the monsters. I'm the man of the masses. I'm the general of the army of the dead. So I will get me a second. Yes, yes, yes. Do you remember the old? Good old days when service crashed because of the armies of necromancers <laughs> were too big to handle. Uh, yes, it happened several times actually. And mostly on private parts. <coughs> I was never part of the crashing, but maybe I crashed some service. I was one of the guys where they fixed the number um, in the older versions before one of them had extra XP. Um, you could. Uh, I hate this. This is the stupidest mechanism, and I never got it. And I thought it could be fine. I never. But anyway. This. Ah yes, yes, yes. I get plus one. And so I got this herd. Well, kind of. That's the number I will need to just go around easy. Plus and yeah, well, some say the best go because the traits of the item. 
fantastic. So yeah. I get me. Power of <laughs> can get more power than the other golems can do. So let's see, let's change the boots. Oh, man, let's identify the sash. Man, yes, a legendary item, huh? And we're just now in and yep, I drop them. <coughs> my younger me would scream. Ah, because of my younger uh, me. Ha. The Dan, yes, Dan was the word. Not the I sense death within this place. <coughs> <laughs> I always like to hear him take the of that concept and then there was that one guy on the blizzcon asking for it and i was like if they say yes i will rage quit at that moment and they told him no and i was like okay wow. but they told him just move slow doesn't really can do it. You they did for Diablo 3. Diablo 3. Um, you move in really, really, really slow. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's the only quest where you have to kill every monster and where you have to discover every peak of that den. And that quest is Teach me to do it everywhere. Mana. 
to earn the rogue's trust. Greetings. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. Your reward is training in the skill of your choice. Ooh, that's really... The Order welcomes you. I think I get one reset of skill... of stats and skill points per difficulty grade. So yeah, I'm just doing my stuff. 
And I think I should add some... Not, not energy, I don't need so much energy at the moment. Well, what was it like? Um, you could do that. Ah, uh, that's... Ah, uh, man, I have a special keyboard that needs um, an activation key to activate F1 to F12. And I think you could just uh, go over with your mouse and say F1. Does it work that way? No? No, but... Uh. Okay, so I will get uh, some serious trouble because of my keyboard. But anyway, I hope you had as much fun as me watching me playing Diablo 2 in old gritty and darkish graphics. And well, maybe when uh, Diablo 1 bonus levels uh, for Diablo 3 going off the PTR into the real game. I think I would like to let's play them too, maybe. But for now, I would like to let's play Diablo 2 as my favorite class, the Necromancer. Until the next part of the let's play, I wish you all to raise zombies, to control skeletons, to feel the power of evil in, within your veins, and have a nice and fine time. Goodbye. Yours, Harden.